New at 10, driving dangerously on a residential street. Tonight, new video shows a car flying through a Florissant neighborhood, and residents who live on Keevan Lane say it is only getting worse. News 4's Emma Hogue spent the day working to find out what is being done. She joins us live tonight in Florissant. Emma? Emily, right now you'll find slowdown signs like this one posted up and down this block, but neighbors say it's not enough. Some tell me they can't even park on the street anymore because their cars keep getting hit. They tell me it's only a matter of time before someone is killed. Cars are just, they just whiz by. You can hear it before you see it. It's got to stop. Surveillance video shows a car speeding down Keevan Lane, triggering motion detecting lights at a nearby home. Oh my, oh my. It's very alarming. They were really going fast. Linda Smith says the footage is a glimpse of what she's witnessed for decades. This happens every day. The problem so concerning she only allows her grandkids to play in the backyard. There's no way a car could stop going this fast as they do. Down the street, Pat Baxter agrees speeding on their block is out of control. I even when I mow my yard, I have to be careful because they don't slow down. She says it's why the 25 mile per hour speed limit sign that used to stand in front of her house is gone. Oh, a car ran over it. <laughs> knocked it down and kept going. Neighbors say they've seen officers occasionally patrolling, but want a more permanent solution. News 4 reached out to the Florissant Police Department to find out what more could be done. There's going to be some more uh, wrecks. Officers say the area is patrolled daily and that they're constantly working to combat the problem. But neighbors like Baxter wonder if drivers will ever slow down. I'm just afraid one of these days somebody's going to really get hurt. So we asked neighbors what they think the solution is. A lot of people told us speed bumps would help. Those, of course, would have to be approved by city council. We plan to follow up early tomorrow morning to find out how likely those are. For now, live in Florissant, Emma Hogue News 4.